Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Life. Today we're gonna do a little experiment. Every time I post a video of me pulling blades out of liquid nitrogen, I get a lot of comments. People are always saying, oh, be careful, you don't drop that, don't drop that on the floor. And it makes good sense. But I always wonder just how fragile is that knife at that state? Luckily, I've never dropped one coming right out of liquid nitrogen. Uh, even so, if you back it up a little bit, right when you quench your blade, it's incredibly hard and incredibly brittle. You know, the worst thing that could happen at that point is you drop your knife on the floor. First of all, very easily, very likely, you could break the tip off. Second of all, it could just shatter. You know, sometimes if you have a good file and you drop it on the concrete floor, they break, they're brittle, they're very hard and very brittle. Now, this test isn't super duper scientific, but I think it should give a good indication of just uh, whether or not they are that brittle coming out of cryogenic treatment. So, yesterday what I did is I took two pieces of O1 tool steel. One of them is just a little coupon like this, quarter inch thick, and the other one's about like this, just a scrap that I had. On the longer one, I actually ground a bevel on one side, just to kind of represent the thinness and getting down to proper edge thickness, see if that had any play in it. And uh, I hardened those, I, I quenched them in oil, and then I went straight into liquid nitrogen overnight. And then I also took a piece of a CPM 154. Again, this was just a square piece. I don't have a lot of scrap of that kicking around that I wanna, I don't wanna wreck a full on knife or anything like that, but I'm hoping this could give me some type of indication of how careful you really do need to be when you're pulling these things out of liquid nitrogen. So I went ahead and I did the CPM. I, I took it to 1950, held it there for half an hour in an envelope. Uh, I heat treated it the same way that I do as if it was a real blade and then plate quenched it and again that's been in liquid nitrogen overnight. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to head inside and we're going to set up a little slow motion video with the iPhone and I'm actually just going to take these little coupons and just uh, right out of liquid nitrogen. I want to make sure they're like boom pull them out and I'm going to drop them on the floor and I want to see if they break or not. If they don't I might actually try throwing them on the floor. I just want to kind of get a sense of whether or not these things are actually super fragile right out of liquid nitrogen. So let's head inside and let's see what happens. All right, so our little coupons are in there, but uh, just getting started here, uh, I might want something better than flip-flops in case small pieces of really cold steel go flying everywhere. I'm gonna go change my shoes. All right, I've got some boots on, as well as I put overalls on, extra protection, and because they just look cool. Let's get this set up. I'm gonna set up, uh, we'll do it right here. Maybe I'll kind of pick a spot where I'm gonna drop them, and then I'll get, uh, I'll get the little camera, the little iPhone set up with the slow-mo, and I'm gonna drop them from about four feet and just like that and see what happens. So I'm really interested. Real quick, uh, leave it in the comments. Do you think they're gonna break or not? Okay, I'm actually gonna turn off all the lights because I'm getting a lot of cycling in the slow motion and that's just annoying. Um, I'm gonna use this video light here because this thing actually doesn't cycle when I'm filming slow motion, so that's handy. And I wanna make sure we have some light to see what's going on. I'll leave the window open, but I'm gonna kill these lights real quick. And I think we're ready to roll. What do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna start out with just the, uh, the little coupon of 01 Tool Steel. Well, let me just check which is up first. Uh, we got CPM 154 first, so first test. First test is going to be the CPM 154, dropping it from about four feet. Okay, are you guys ready? No, I am. Okay, here we go. CPM 154. Nah. Nothing. Nothing is happening to this. You can see it's very cold. This is right out of liquid nitrogen. Nothing. It bounces good. I don't know how much more I need to prove that it's not that fragile. <laughs> that 
one bounced off the floor and it hit the roof. And it didn't break. So that's that's a CPM 154. Okay, it's not that fragile. Again, this is one eighth of an inch thick. There's no stress fractures. I, I properly ground everything, rounded everything. I didn't want to have any sharp edges in case you got some type of a stress fracture, but on its own, this stuff is safe as a button. Okay, now let's try the next thing. Okay, we have our O1 tool seal coupon. Again, this is, uh, this is just a little coupon. Just a coupon of O1 tool steel. Again, I've rounded the edges off. There's no sharp corners or anything. Very, very cold. But uh, let's see if it breaks. Still recording. Okay, so just the drop. is happening. Good job. This is not that fragile. Like this file isn't even touching it. Nothing. Okay, well this isn't as exciting as I'd hoped it would be, but let's see if it makes a difference if it's actually a knife. So you've got a nice thin edge on there, a bevel, and uh, let's see what we get. Four feet drop. I do not believe that is the case. What happens if we hit it with a hammer? That might be more interesting. It's definitely fragile, but I do not believe. Okay, let's try this uh, CPM 154. Interesting. All right, so let's take a look at the damage. Now, in my fit of destructive rage, uh, I couldn't find the tip of that O1. There was some damage, and I know it didn't show up very well. Uh, you see we have some fracture right there going through. It's actually really cool. You can kind of see it almost going all the way through. This was very close to breaking. Oh, there you go. Uh, so yes, definitely fragile material, definitely not. Uh, you know, it's not suitable as a blade in this state. 
Let's see if we can break this one. Yeah, we got that. Interesting, that skin kind of holds it on there, like, there you go. This is our CPM 154. Very, very sharp. Interesting grain structure going on there. And, um, yeah, I was really surprised that we had to get so uh, violent with a hammer in order to get any real results. And again, I really wish I could have found, I looked all over the shop here, and I can't find the tip of this little 01 piece, but it, it kind of busted off. It didn't bend, it, it, it broke off, but it was only a break about the same size as that. Like, it wasn't huge, it's just the slightest bit on the tip that broke off, so. Hmm. All right, so what kind of conclusions, if any, can we come to from this test? Well, first of all, I don't know if it's necessarily a good representation of dropping a knife on the floor. Obviously, those coupons were fairly small. I, I really thought they would just shatter. I, I was expecting that to happen. But one thing that I'm hypothesizing right now is that maybe, you know, if you've got a longer blade and it's coming down on the floor, and maybe if one end hits first, in theory, there's more room for a kind of a bending flex to happen. Maybe that would have a impact on it. Maybe that would cause a shatter. Maybe because these pieces are too small, you know, there's not enough uh, material there to, to move that much that it's just not doing anything. I was really surprised though at how robust those little pieces were. Uh, even that 01 tool steel that we had the bevel on, I mean I was whipping that at the floor and that tip, I had to throw it a few times to get the tip to chip off which is really surprising to me. And then again once we took the hammer to them, well it's just gonzo and uh, that kind of demonstrated that indeed they are fragile just based on the way that they broke and they did kind of shatter, you can see some of the grain structure in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this test in another video. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get a scrap of steel that's long enough to represent a decent sized knife and I'm gonna actually grind it properly, turn it into what could be a great knife. Uh, I'm not gonna get too carried away on it and too fussy, but I want a better representation of a blade. And so we'll try this test again in a future video, drop it on the floor out of liquid nitrogen and see if it breaks. What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear if you've got experience with it. Maybe you've dropped a bunch of blades right out of cryo and nothing happens. Uh, and I just wanna figure this stuff out because it's, it's just curious to me more than anything else. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. Cheers.